What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Souls and I was sent this in by a good friend of mine from China. This is a, a premium handheld gimbal uh, for uh, for all you people that love to vlog. Um, you can actually put any phone onto this. I've not actually used one. This is the first time I've actually used one. He got in contact with me. He said, oh, have you got a gimbal uh, to do your vlogs and everything? Uh, and I said, no. So he said, I'll send you one out. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, uh, this costs 30 pounds. So if you want to actually purchase one, I will leave the link in the description box below. So as always people, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification. So when upload any video you'll actually be notified anyways let's unbox and review this three axes handheld gimbal what's happening people let's get straight into it uh, this box is really really big i have to uh, put my uh, camera stand all the way up to the highest uh, point so i can actually just get all this box in so let's take a look at it so at the top we've got a three axis uh, handheld gimbal turn your smartphone into a movie making machine that's what i'm going to do hopefully when this pandemic is over i'll be going on uh, a few holidays and i'll be vlogging it as well so hopefully this gimbal will come in handy so if you want to purchase one like i said check out the uh, link in the description box below so uh, there's a few trademarks at the bottom this is what the gimbal looks like like i said it's the first time i'm actually using one taking a look at the side you've got three access handle gimbal and uh, yeah it's pretty much the same on every side and that's about it people <laughs> for the box anyway uh, let's see if we can open this up it's uh, sealed as you can see um i was gonna open it uh, and show you a sneak peek on my social media as i always do so if you don't follow me on social media make sure you follow me because i leave a lot of sneak peeks on there uh, what's upcoming on my all sorts channel and i've still got a lot of products to uh, review as well so if you want to see what pro products are upcoming then check out my uh, social media or my youtube stories as everything is on there so first things first let's open the box see what we get inside see what this premium handheld gimbal is like hopefully i can use it a lot more in the future we'll check that out so nothing else inside the box so let's push that aside first thing first is we've got a uh, user manual it says h4 three axis handheld gimbal um three axis handheld gimbal the electric stabilizer for taking photos or taking videos you can easily make stable videos or clear photos by yourself so i can't wait to try this out so you've got the contents the packing list the introduction product display balance adjustment product usage and specifications let's just shoot the specifications to see what specs this has got so as this is the first time i'm actually using one then we'll check out the manual so here is the product usage check that out vertical shooting uh, lantern shooting whatever that means shooting mode you got a lock mode half follow mode and a full follow mode can't wait to check that out so here is some of the specifications charging volt is five volt um working voltage um number three motor battery specification is 2200 mah which sounds good uh, battery duration is around four hours which is even better working temperature and the weight is about 400 grams so that's the specification on there so what i'll do is let's just check out the product itself and then i'll tell you more about how to use it so first things first is we've got a micro usb charger charging wire and here we have it so check this out look at that it feels premium well as well it's not cheap plastic that's for 30 pounds this is definitely definitely premium so we've got a few buttons here as you can see you've got a, like a purple insert with a few buttons so you can lock it here or unlock it uh, on and off button camera button and this is i presume the controller to control the gimbal right here so taking a look at around you've got the micro usb port to charge it and at the bottom if you want to uh, put it onto your uh, stand or anything like that so that's a good feature which i'll probably use so take a look at the gimbal um, of course i don't want to force it into any position because i don't want it to break now i had a smaller gimbal it was a dji pocket 
um, the Pocket 4K uh, which I actually broke so this one has come in handy right so I just had to put it on charge and while I was putting it on charge I just quickly uh, skimmed through the manuals to see how to use this so first of all with this gimbal you have to adjust it to your mobile phone so as I have a iPhone 11 Pro Max and it's a little bit heavy I've adjusted the uh, the camera a bracket to uh, the highest it can be because well I extended it to the uh, highest because um, you need good uh, stabilization and uh, you need it to be in the middle so if you phone like a, not a plus one it should be all right on the standard uh, adjustment but so I've adjusted this all the way out now let me show you the control so here we have it so you can control it with the, this uh, controller right here which I'll show you later in the video now what we have here we have a three controller here so we have the lock mode Mode. we have the semi lock mode and the free flow mode so with this one I will show you once it's connected to the phone that when you actually put on lock mode uh, whatever you lock it onto it's just gonna stay onto that um, uh, that position so whether you move the gimbal uh, it will always stay at that position so um, it will give you good image stabilization on that so free fall it will actually do it uh, softly as well uh, the camera will move wherever your hand goes but it will do it nice and softly and uh, free free fall is wherever your hand goes that's where the camera will go uh, and it will give you good stabilization so the best stabilization once you've got your image locked on is this lock button right here and whatever your hand moves if your hands uh, Bit shaky the camera will stay still so that's really good uh, this is the on and off button once we press that we get a, a green uh, uh, light and flash, a green and red light to indicate that it's connected to the phone one if the red light is flashing that means the battery is low and he, you can actually uh, start press record from this button here or take a picture uh, once it's connected to your phone and that's the charging port which I've charged right here just before you put it on make sure you put the phone onto uh, the bracket so as i've extended it out uh, what i'm going to do is you've got a bracket here yeah, let's do it this way easier this way because there's no bottles on either side i don't want to break it the first day i got it as well it's looking that way you can tell i've never used one of these before so i'm just gonna bring that bracket out so it's nice it's a nice fix kind of hard to do this on camera there we go so you've got that a nice fix there then once it's on the phone of course you're not going to get uh, the balancing so you need to press it on and hopefully that will balance it out right there so as you see it's balancing out right there i'll show you later in the video when i go outside so this is what i mean now let me go into camera and here we go so now it's on the lock position which we have right here i'll show you more later in the video let's just press the video there so i'll show you later in, uh, more in the video what i mean i'm going to take it outside i just want to show you the controls so if you press free flow wherever your hand goes that's where the camera will go so if we lock it onto these smart watches right here as you can see i'm moving my hands and the image is still on the smart watches so with this uh, medium flow it just goes nice and slowly if you want to take some nice shots if you want it free flow then you just put it at the bottom and that's wherever your hand goes as you can see it's going there my thing will go so let's put it onto the top bit lock it on and as you can see if your hands a bit shaky the camera stays still so let's take this outside to give you a first uh, look vlog of me using this uh, gimbal on my phone and um, what i'll do is i'll take a video on my phone in 4k and i'll shoot it on this camera as well just to give you an insight of what it looks like in both ways brought it outside to give you a better look as the weather is lovely uh, of course i've got the phone onto the mount now so what i'm going to do is switch it on and as you can see here the phone is calibrating onto the gimbal now what I'm gonna do is I need face ID first yeah so it's working as you can see here so let me just show you so I'm using the uh, gimbal right here as you can see check this out just trying to get it on camera so if you push it down it goes up and you can actually do it however you like so it's going to take me time to get used to 
So if you press the on and off button, uh, to, uh, tap it twice, it goes back to the uh, same screen as it started. So that is it. So what I'm going to do now is, um, so yeah, see it's calibrated back to me. Uh, now what I'm going to do is take a video and show you my garden because uh, I'm actually getting some work done. So let's go into video right there. So I press record. I'm recording on my phone now, and now I'm also recording on this camera. So I just want to show you. So I'm on. This is. Uh, the lock position i'm moving my hand about but you can still see me and the reason why i'm moving that is because i'm moving the uh, controller so it's actually still staying on a lock position so this is free for all as well so as you can see it's moving with me that's free on the bottom position and this is the middle position where it's uh, just slightly smoother if you want smooth uh, you know taking video and whatnot so as you can see i'm moving my um camera but it's going really nice and smooth so i think that's what i'll be using it on because it actually looks a bit better and if i want to lock it on something i can just lock it which i've done now and as i'm moving around the stabilization is really good uh, my hands moving but the camera is stood in the same place so that's really good but yeah let me just show you <laughs> what i'm getting done to my garden it's the first time i'm actually doing this uh, because the weather is nice and i need to do my garden and get some flowers but check that out i've just got it unlocked i'm gonna unlock it now so i can show you so here we go i've got it on the free fall position i'm just going to use the controller um, to guide it where i want it to so pushing it right so what i did i had loads of bushes here check this out if you want to see a vlog i've actually made a video from before and after so if you want to see that let me know I had all uh, bushes all over here i took them off myself i've got someone to, uh, coming today to take all this rubbish and what i'm gonna get done is this bit the same as this bit so i've got these put in as well check out the flowers really nice and i've also got these done as well the flowers i'm gonna put them all in the back garden as well yeah that's what i wanted to show you but yeah let's check the gimbal out that's my car around there that's all the bushes looks a mess but i just wanted to show you if you want to see a video of before and after let me know because i did all that myself can't wait to get rid of this rubbish so i can put some nice flowers down as well the only bad thing about this is you can't zoom there we have it ladies and gentlemen that was the 30 pound premium gimbal i'm definitely going to use this because it's uh, it's really good quality i'm not going to lie i actually love it better than the uh, holder i was using i don't know if you've ever seen the holder i was using it's just one of them um uh, i forgot one of them just them selfie sticks what i was holding connected to the camera and that's what i was using so as my iphone 11 pro max uses um, 4k i will be actually using this gimbal because it supports the phone so thank you for watching this video if you want to purchase one of these check out the link below and yeah if you want to see any other videos with this let me know in the comment section below thanks again for watching i'll see you again for another video